In this video, I will show you how to track affiliate link clicks on your website with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Also, at the end of the video, I will share two ways how you can build a report for that. And here I have a demo page with two sample affiliate links. One is related to Amazon and the other one is just an example to some other unknown affiliate. Also on this website, I have installed a Google Tag Manager container. Inside this container, I have a Google Tag, which just sends the data to this particular measurement ID. If you don't know how to install Google Tag Manager and then Google Analytics with it, then take a look below the video where I have shared a tutorial. Watch that first and then come back here. But if you already know what all of this means, then keep watching this video. So if you want to track link clicks with Google Tag Manager, then first you should go to the triggers section and check if you have any triggers related to just links. In my case, I don't have them. So I will click new trigger configuration, then just links. And for now I will track all link clicks. So let's call this all link clicks and click save. Also your container should have click variables enabled. So let's go to variables and check if you have variables such as click classes, click element, click ID and so on. If you don't have them, then click configure and enable those checkboxes right here. Now let's enable the preview mode and see what is happening. So I will click preview button right here. Then I will enter the URL of the page where I have affiliate links. So copy here, paste here and click connect. Once the preview mode has connected, I will click the first link and the second link. Then let's go to the preview mode. And here I should see a couple of link clicks. If you see some warnings right here, you can dismiss them. So the first link click and I can go to variables and I see what is happening here. So the click URL is related to Amazon. And the second link click is related to another sample website where let's say that I am participating in the affiliate program. So when you try to test various affiliate links on your website, try to come up with a certain pattern or a rule that would match all of those links. For example, here, if you don't have any other Amazon links on a page and all of them are purely affiliate, then you could say that if click URL contains amazon.com or www.amazon.com, that is an affiliate link. Then with the second example, I have a part that says affiliate like this. So technically I could say that on my website, if click URL contains slash affiliate slash or www.amazon.com, that link is an affiliate link. And that could be the condition that we could use in our trigger. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, and we will make that all link clicks trigger more precise. Also, did you know that 85% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed? If you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, and if you want to get this kind of videos first, then subscribe to my channel. Let's click it and then edit the trigger to fire only on some link clicks where the click URL variable contains or no, actually it should be matches regex ignore case because we want to match one pattern or another. That's why we will use regular expressions and let's copy this. So if URL contains amazon.com or in regular expressions here, you have to enter a pipe, which is a vertical dash, and then we will enter the part which is right here slash affiliate slash then let's rename the trigger so link click affiliate links and click save now let's go to tags and we are going to send an event to google analytics every time an affiliate link is clicked to do that first you will need to get the measurement id you can find it in the google tag so copy it and then click new tag configuration google analytics ga4 event and then paste that measurement id right here then you can name this event whatever you want for example affiliate link and let's send additional parameters because we want to know more information about a particular link that was clicked for example we can send the click text and we can send the click url so let's add two parameters in the event parameters section click add parameter and then first enter link url and link text 
exactly like this with the underscore. So both of these parameters are known to Google Analytics. That's why we see these checkboxes right here. And then let's insert the variables. So for the link URL parameter, we will insert the click URL variable. And for link text, we will insert click text like this. Then let's go to triggering and select our trigger that we just created. Now let's call this tag, we can give it a name G for event and affiliate link, and then click Save. Let's test if this is working. So I will click preview to refresh the preview mode. I can again dismiss these two warnings. And then let's click the first link, the second link, and I will also click any non affiliate link because my goal is that the tag fires on these two tags, but not on this tag. So now I will close these tabs, I don't need them. And if I go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, and then check the first link click, I see that the tag fired, I click the second event and the tag fired. And then on this event, the tag did not fire. In the preview mode right now, there is a bug. And sometimes tags are displayed as unknown. But don't worry, this is still working fine. In a couple of minutes, if you reload the preview mode, then the tag should be displayed properly. So the tags have fired. If you want to see what kind of data was sent to Google Analytics, you can click on the measurement ID. And then here I see affiliate link events, I can click this one. And this is the data that was sent. For example, I have link URL and link text. And then the second affiliate link event, which also contains that information. So this is working fine. Now let's test if these events actually reached the destination, which is Google Analytics, we can do that by going to the Google Analytics property, then you can go to admin, then keep looking for debug view. And here you should see those events, one affiliate link event, and the other. I also see the click events because in this particular property, enhanced measurement and outbound click tracking is enabled. But when it comes to affiliate link tracking, I would personally prefer having these kind of event names. So Google Tag Manager setup is my choice. After checking everything, it looks like this setup is working fine. So the next step for you would be to publish these changes so that they go live to the website visitors. You can do that by clicking submit here and then publish. Of course, don't forget to give a name to this version, for example, affiliate link tracking with GA4. Because later in the future, when you look at the list of versions, this version name will definitely be helpful. And that's it. Now your setup is live. The affiliate link clicks are now being tracked with Google Analytics. So anytime the visitor clicks any of those links, you will get an event to Google Analytics. To start seeing that data in the reports, you will need to be patient. So wait for at least 24 hours, ideally 48 hours, and then you will be able to build some reports. By the way, did you know that I have a bunch of free ebooks on Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics? So if you want to better learn these topics, then click the link below the video, download those ebooks and get started. All right, I've waited for 24 hours. And now let me show you where can you find that affiliate link like data. The first example is in the exploration. So go to explore, then select blank. And then let's add the following two dimensions, click plus in the dimensions section and then enter link URL, and then enter event name, and click confirm. Then in metrics, let's say that we will add event count, and then total users, and add confirm as well. Then you can double click or drag link URL to the rows, I will double click that, then I can double click event count total users. And now this report will show all events that are captured by this property, not just the affiliate click event. So to narrow down to affiliate click events, I scroll down in the second column, and then in filters, click here, select event name, exactly matches and then start typing affiliate and select the affiliate link event and click apply. 
And there you have it. This report shows how many times each link was clicked and this applies only to affiliate link click events. Now let's go to the reports and let's say that we want to build an affiliate link click report that will always be accessible on the sidebar right here and you or your teammates will be able to look at that data. To do that, go to library, then scroll down, click create new report, create detail report, and then select blank. Here, click the dimensions and add dimension and type link URL and click apply. Then in metrics, we can add the same two metrics, which are event count and total users, then click apply. Then let's add a filter and we want to look only at those events where event name exactly matches affiliate click and click apply. Then I will hide the bar chart and now I will see just the data of the affiliate clicks and also I will see the chart. Of course, right now I don't have much data, so the chart looks quite empty, but if this was a real project, then over time you would have a better looking chart right here. Now click save and let's name this affiliate links and save. So we created the report and now let's add it to the sidebar. So click back, then find the reports collection that you want to edit and where you want to include that report. So in my case, I will add it in the lifecycle collection. So I will click here, edit, and then you have to decide where you want to include it because there are several topics in my case, acquisition, then engagement, then monetization, and then retention. So let's say that I will add it to the engagement section. So here I will look for affiliate links and now I will drag and drop it right here, for example, then save and save changes to recurrent collection, then go back and expand the engagement. If you don't see your report here, then refresh the page and that report should appear. So from this moment, you and anyone else who has access to this property, they can go to engagement, affiliate links, and then they will see that data very quickly in just a couple of clicks. And that's how you can track affiliate links with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.